guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna go through my favorite chart patterns now I know there are a ton of chart patterns out there that you can utilize that you can learn about um, but these are the ones that are my favorite and these are ones that I have been utilizing a lot more more as compared to some of the other chart patterns so uh, personally I think these are the ones that you are able to find the most occur the most um, and are the easiest to potentially trade you know it's easy to look at a pattern when it's shown kind of in an image um, and it's easy to kind of see in that image how it should potentially look however when you look at the chart it's not always that clean so I'm gonna go through the pattern, what it should look like, and then I'm gonna show you a chart example of that pattern so you guys are able to catch it on your charts as well. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started here. The first pattern that I'm gonna go through is going to be your bear and bull flag. So uh, basically what a bull flag is, is what you get is you'll get a sock that's kind of in a consolidation or you know just in a zone trading and it makes makes a strong move up okay once the st stock makes a strong move up this is called your flagpole so stock makes a strong move up after that move up what you will see is the stock will usually consolidate into a channel okay now this could be now this channel could be one to two candles, it could be multiple candles, it could be a huge channel. I will show you examples in just a second, but just understand that it goes into a channel like this after the stock makes a huge move up, consolidates downwards, and then what you look for is for the stock to break the upwards trend line. That is a successful bull flag. Now if the stock breaks to the downside, the downside that's a failed bull flag. If the stock breaks to the upside, that's a successful bull flag. You look to enter on the breakout of the trend line once the stock is able to hold above that trend line. That is your entry. Now, on the opposite hand, we have your bear flags. Same concept, but just to the downside. You see that the stock, it makes a huge move down. Okay, once it makes that move down, the stock consolidates, you can see, into an upwards channel here. In a bear, bull flag, we have a downwards channel after an upwards movement. On a bear flag, we have a, a upwards channel on a, after a downwards movement. Once the stock creates that channel, what you're looking for after it creates that channel is for the stock to break the downside trend line. So the downward trend line, you want to see the stock break. Once it's able to hold below that trend line, the stock will continue to move downwards. All right, now let's go ahead and look at some examples of these. So one recent bull flag that I've seen that was actually in a, a really, really great bull flag. Now I do want to say that you can use a bull flags and bear flags um, on the one minute time frame, on the five minute time frame, on the daily time frame. I use them for scalping and day trading on the five minute time frame and sometimes I'll find them on the daily and hourly time frames for uh, day trading and swing trading. The most common time frames that you're gonna find a bull and bear flag are gonna be your five minute and 15 minute time frames. Those are the most common time frames that I've seen them on and those are the ones that I utilize the most. So if we look at Nvidia here, I'm gonna go to the daily time frame on Nvidia and I have it charted here for you guys. So so, all right guys, so here we have NVIDIA on the one year daily time frame. So you can see here it's one, one year and then one day. So each candle is worth one day's worth of price action. Um, so you can start to see here that NVIDIA makes a move up right around here. It even starts down here, makes a move up all the way up. Um, makes a strong move up. So that is your flagpole, okay? So NVIDIA makes that move up. Now what we see here is that once NVIDIA makes that move up, it starts to pull back here okay so once so once we see the stock pull back from its move up what we start to see is a channel so you can see that stock makes a move up here pulls back and usually on a bull flag uh, you you see probably a two to three candle pullback usually if it's a solid bull flag you'll see two candle pullback so this is your two candle pullback here this is your uh, so right here you have a three candle pullback, one, two, three on this fourth candle. NVIDIA breaks out of that bull flag and continues to new all time highs. Now if we take a look here and I just draw a trend line to chart that channel. Oops, let's go for my trend line. Okay. 
So once we charted that trend line here, you can now see that stock makes a move up, channels down right here after this one, two, three candle pullback on this fourth candle. This is your entry candle right here for a potential swing on NVIDIA as long as it continues upwards. Now when I take a bull flag play, I'm usually looking to take one candle, two candle max because that's the most you're going to get. Uh, so that's why I like to look for bull flags on the 5 minute and 15 minute for day trading and scalping because usually for a 5 minute play, 10 minute play is considered a scalp. Anything more than that, it's a day trade. And then on your daily time frame, you could potentially open a day trade on this candle right here or open a swing until you potentially see resistance on NVIDIA or it hit another level. So this is a perfect example of a bull flag on the daily time frame that you could potentially utilize for day trading or swinging, okay? So I just want you to sh see that you can catch these plays on not just smaller time frames or not just for scalping, but you can catch them for day trading and swing trading as well. And you can see this is a perfect example of a bull flag clean break breakout on NVIDIA here. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you another example of a bull flag and bear flag here. Okay, so we're looking at Tesla here on May 28th, okay? And there's a couple of flags here that you're going to catch. And on Tesla, the bear flags are perfect to catch, and they're really clean, please. So right here, and I charted it a little bit differently, but it's the same concept, okay? So if we look here... What we see is uh, Tesla rejects this level of resistance here, and what happens is it makes the move down, okay? Your flagpole, this is your flagpole, it makes the move down. Once it makes, makes the move down in a bear flag, it consolidates upwards into a channel. Once it consolidates upwards into the channel, you look for the breakout of the lower trend line, for entry and then your target is going to be your le your levels of support that you have set so for here would be 627 625 and 623 would be your three price targets for entries I'm sorry for exits as Tesla starts to fall okay so this is a perfect example here and now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to chart this and if you charted this, and when I chart a bull flag, I go through the wicks. I don't necessarily uh, chart the wicks. Um, I just go, kind of go through them. And you can see here, same concept. Stock makes a move down, consolidates upwards into a channel. And let me just fix this little. Consolidates upwards into a channel. And your entry is going to be the first candle that's able to hold below that trend line which would be, be this candle right here that is your entry and then your exit points are going to be your support levels that you have set this was actually a huge flush on tesla so if also another thing i want to mention is you play the bull flag on the time frame that you catch it on so if you catch it on the five minute time frame don't watch the trade on the one minute time frame you watch it on the five minute you play it on the five minute you don't watch it on the one minute and play it on the one minute because what's going to happen is you're playing the bull flag on the five minute that's what you caught it on and now you're looking at the one minute you're most likely going to get shaken out by those one minute candles okay so you watch it on the five minute you take that nice little bull flag move. This is a bear flag, sorry. This is a clean bear flag right here on Tesla. And on Tesla, you tend to see a lot of bear flags once if the stock is on a steady downtrend. And they're very clean bear flags, especially on the five minute time frame. So make sure you guys pay attention to that. I showed you a bear flag here on Tesla. On this same day, Tesla also had a bull flag. Now, if you look over to the right side of the chart, right here as it's bouncing off of its support, Tesla makes a move up. Once it makes a move up, you get the two candle pullback here, and this candle is going to be your entry for the bull flag. Now, if we look here and chart it with our trend line, okay, stock makes a move down into the channel. Perfectly, this bull flag sets up here on the five minute with Tesla. So we had a bear flag in the morning, stock starts to make a move up later in the day. You catch a nice little bull flag play here. This candle holding above that upper trend line is going to be your entry, and it's going to be a five-minute scalp to the next level of resistance you have. So 632 and 633 are going to be your price targets on it. Okay. The next pattern.
pattern I'm going to go through with you guys is the bull and bear pennant. So this is very similar to a bull flag and bear flag, except the consolidation is not channel, it's a triangle. Pretty much the same concept. On a bullish pennant, the stock makes a move up, consolidates into a symmetrical triangle, and then break out of that top trend line. Same thing on the bearish uh, pennant. Stock makes a move down, consolidates into a symmetrical triangle, and break out of that lower trend line okay so it's pretty much the same thing as your bear and bull flags it's just how the stock is consolidating these are actually really easy to catch too uh so i don't want you to get confused between whether it's a bull flag or a bear flag bull flag i'm sorry whether it's a flag or a pennant uh flags are going to be the easiest to catch but pennants do happen often as well so let's look at an example of a pennant here. Uh, it's going to be on the same day. Actually, this day was a great day for a pattern plays. So if we go to NVIDIA on 528, and I'm going to show you this on the 5-minute and 15-minute time frame. So if you look at it here on the 5-minute time frame, you can see clearly stock makes a huge move up here. Nice move up. And what happens when it makes that move up? Stock starts to consolidate into a triangle, okay? Like I said, I, I charted through the wicks, okay? So your entry is going to be this candle that holds above that upper trend line, okay? Good 10-minute, 15-minute scalp here on NVIDIA. Okay, now if you look at this on the 15-minute uh, time frame, it's going to show you it a little bit cleaner, but the same concept. Okay, perfect. Look at this. Look at how clean this looks. Flagpole up, consolidation, and if I fix this trend line here, slightly higher, okay? Can't, the, the same candle is going to be your entry point opens above your upper, tr upper trend line. On this trade right here, you could potentially get a 30 minute trade as well. But like I said, the, the flag patterns and the pennant patterns are the easiest to catch on the five minute, 15 minute time frames. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at another example of this one. The next pattern we're gonna go through is gonna be one of the easiest patterns, in my opinion, to catch when you are trading. And that is your triangle patterns, okay? So the one that I personally trade the most is going to be your symmetrical triangle. Uh, your ascending triangle is bullish, but I have seen that the ascending and descending triangle can also move in either direction depending on the overall stock sentiment. So in my personal opinion, either all three of these can move in either direction because I've seen descending triangles move upwards and I've seen ups, uh, ascending triangles break to the downside. Uh, so all of these triangle patterns can break to any side, which is what I've personally seen as I've applied them. So I just like to stick to my symmetrical triangle because it's the easiest. So what happens is the stock makes a move up or it can make a move down because it's a bearish or bullish pattern because you don't know and it consolidates. And when it consolidates, the, um, the, when it consolidates, the stock starts to squeeze, okay? Starts to get extra tight, squeezes, and the breakout can either happen on the upside or on the downside, okay? So you'll see the stock consolidate, get really tight, create into a little triangle pattern, can either be bullish or bearish. You just wait for the stock to break out of the lower or upper trend line. If it breaks out of the upper trend line, it is bullish. If it breaks out of the lower trend line, it is bearish, okay? So keep that in mind that it could happen on either side. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at examples of some of these. So one example is right here, clear in front of you. This is a symmetrical triangle pattern, a failed bull pennant, okay, that turned into a symmetrical triangle. You could also play this as a triangle pattern. Stock consolidates into a triangle, and this candle right here is your breakout candle. And that is the candle you take, and like I said, every support level is going to be your price target, okay? Now let's look at a kind of cleaner pattern for you guys. And we're going to look at Amazon. And this one is a um, 
daily time frame. This is Amazon on the four hour time frame. Now, you kind of have to train your eye and as you start to apply these patterns, it becomes a lot easier to see them um, and your kind of your eyes become trained to catch them. So if you just look at Amazon here, we're on the four hour time frame, which is a little bit hard to see in general, but um, if you just look at Amazon here towards what's happening, uh, the right side of the chart is current, so what's happening right now. If we look right around here, I do see some consolidation on Amazon. And I had caught this on, um, I had posted this on my Instagram prior to it actually breaking. Now pretend you don't see any of this here. If we look at Amazon right here, look at this perfect triangle here. Now, if I zoom out, you can see it a lot more clear. And if we go to the daily time frame, you're going to see it even clearer. If we zoom out here, so you can see stock consolidates into a triangle. Like I said, on the picture, on the images that you see of patterns, it looks a lot cleaner than what it usually is. Uh, once you see it on the chart, you really have to train your eyes to be able to capture them. Um, Perfect symmetrical triangle here break, uh, on Amazon and a perfect break. So when you see it on the higher time frames, you're looking for a swing trade, especially on the daily time frame because each candle is worth one day's worth of price action. So stock's not going to make the move in a couple of hours or in you know a few minutes. It's going to take a couple of days, which is why you would swing this potential play here. So you can see here. Amazon consolidated into a triangle pattern. You're looking for a break either on the upside or downside. It can move in either direction, okay? This candle starts to break out. This candle right here is your entry candle for a potential swing to whatever next levels of resistance. I had 3350 on Amazon and 3400 at, at significant levels. So you can play it to your levels, to whatever resistance levels. You would still use the same concept. So as the stock continues to make a move up, move up, you watch your resistance levels on the daily time frame. So the resistance levels that I had on my daily time frame with Amazon was 33.50 and 3400, and I actually did end up taking a swing on Amazon based off of this momentum play. Okay. All right. So this is a another uh, symmetrical triangle here on Amazon. Market's about to close. Uh, so this is another symmetrical triangle here on Amazon on the five minute time frame. Now, like I said, you have to train your eye to see see it sometimes, okay? Now in the morning you can see that Amazon's kind of in like a consolidation, doesn't really have a direction here. What I see is a triangle, okay? Look at how perfectly this triangle sets up. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and let me actually start on the before I see can see. Okay. So if we zoom out here, we can see that towards the, uh, towards uh, the start of the day, Amazon doesn't really have much direction. It starts to consolidate. And as you, as you see the stock consolidating, this is the easiest way to find triangle patterns is as you start to see the stock consolidate and consolidate, what you'll start to see is it's getting tighter and tighter. The area of consolidation, the range that the stock is consolidating in starts to get extremely tight. This is what we call a stock squeezing. So once the stock, so you can see that the price range for this consolidation is really high. You can see the price low here is 33.50. The price high is around 30, 33.90. Uh, so there's a huge price range here in where the stock is trying to find um, either the upside or the downside. But it's kind of ranging. And as you start to see the stock continue to range, that range starts to get tighter and tighter. You can see now it's at 33.70 and the swing low is 33.60. So it's getting tighter and tighter. We're getting into a $10 range now here until the stock gets extremely tight, squeezes. This five minute candle is your breakout candle. That is your entry candle. As long as the stock is holding, your next levels of resistance are going to be your price targets. Now, what you can also see happen with a uh, symmetrical triangle, and this does happen pretty often um, for the most part, is what you'll see. Say this, this stock broke out to the downside. What you'll see is the breakout. The stock retests, come back up, come, comes back up, retests 
the previous uh, resistance or support level and then continues its move down. So this is very typical for a triangle pattern, especially if you see the triangle on a higher time frame. What you'll see is the stock breaks out, comes back, comes back, retests that trend line, and then continues the momentum either on the downside or upside. On this play right here, it doesn't really come back and retest too harshly, but you can see that it does break out. It's kind of holding that lower that upper trend line and this EMA here, but the stock continues that move up. This is actually a really good example of a symmetrical triangle breakout here. Perfect example on the five minute, you would take an entry for a day trade to your next levels of resistance. All right, this is a symmetrical triangle break to the downside. And if you guys are catching on, you should be able to catch on where that triangle is forming. So if you look here, stock makes a downtrend and right here it starts to consolidate. Okay, you can see the consolidation. You can see the range in that consolidation starts to get tighter and tighter as supply and demand meet until the stock squeezes and has nowhere else to go but break out either on the upside or downside. On this specific play, stock breaks out on the downside. And this is actually a really good example because as the stock breaks out on the downside, it also breaks that support level. It's able to hold under your support level of 840. This candle right here, holding below 840 and holding below that lower trend line is your entry candle. And then whatever other targets you have on the downside, your support levels are gonna be your price targets for exit, okay? This is a really, really, really perfect example of a symmetrical triangle break on the downside. It's not only breaking and holding below that symmetrical triangle, uh, lower trend line, but it also the other confirmation that you have is it held below that support that you have. It was not able to hold that support anywhere around here. Okay, so you see how these candles came down, came down, came down, but none of them were able to hold to open and hold below that 840 support. Okay, those are all my examples for the patterns that I use, guys. I use a couple of other patterns, but they're not as common, and these are my favorite ones, and I think the ones that you're able to catch the most. So your bear and bull flags, your bear and bull pennants, and your triangles are gonna be the easiest ones to catch and the highest probability plays that you could potentially take as a day trader. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond. I will actually be picking the giveaway winner if you have entered my giveaway in my previous video i'll be announcing that giveaway winner on sunday on my instagram at mossy trades thank you guys so much for watching this video if you found it helpful don't forget to hit that like button and i will see you guys in the next video bye